Good day, friends. Hi, my name is uh, Venkat. I'm a founder director at uh, MyCFO, which is India's largest and fastest growing CFO services company. Uh, welcome to uh, another edition of uh, MyCFO's Knowledge Capsules. Uh, if you are an aspiring entrepreneur or uh, if you have set up your enterprise in the last 18 months or so, I think this video could be helpful to you. Uh, the topic of today's session is about how does an entrepreneur develop the ability to deal with risk and uncertainty. Right? Uh, it's easy uh, to, to be theoretical and say that to be an entrepreneur, you need to be able to embrace risk in life. But how does an entrepreneur go about doing it? From my experience, there are really two kinds of people to whom risk taking almost comes naturally. One. And this has got to do a little bit about you know how you're kind of grown up in your life. If you have had a tough childhood, uh, if you if you grew up in an environment where there were possibly seven people sharing a room, or possibly you got only one dress a, a, every year, or a celebration out meant that you went out to eat at a restaurant maybe once in six months, then you're possibly used to kind of dealing with a scarcity situation. These are people who have seen tough times. These are people who are seen difficult situations and these are kinds of people who come pretty hardened uh, to the battlefield of entrepreneurship. Folks like this are able to take adversity much better. They are people who are able to go through the downs in the entrepreneurial cycle. The other kind of people who are well positioned to embrace risk are people who come from very well-off backgrounds. Now these are people who have got money in the bank. They possibly got connections, they got entry into the right clubs, they possibly have got mentors in the family in the form of their fathers, their uncles, others who have kind of been entrepreneurs before them. And again, to these people, ability to take risk is extremely high. But let's take a look at, I think, this vast proportion of entrepreneurs who come from the so-called Indian middle class. And that's the category that has got a little bit to lose and therefore they're scared of losing it, but they don't have enough to be able to take the risk to kind of take the entrepreneurial plunge. So if you are one of those people from the classic Indian middle class and were thinking about how do I kind of improve my risk taking ability, then there are three things that you could possibly do. The first thing you need to do is to look to get out of your comfort zone. Try and get into situations that you are not completely comfortable with. And this has got nothing to do with business. It could simply mean that if you don't know how to swim, maybe just join a swimming class. If you know how to drive, but you're scared of, let's say, getting a vehicle up a slope, then maybe you should practice doing that and make sure that you get rid of it. If you're somebody who is scared of public speaking, try and join maybe the Toastmasters Club and see if you can get rid of the fear. Overcoming fear is a habit. All entrepreneurs need to overcome the fear of business risk. And sometimes, if you have got practice of overcoming the fear, some other fears which are non-business fears, then you just get better at dealing with business fears as well. The second thing that you can do is surround yourself with positive people. There are always a risk and an opportunity in every situation in life. And I think a vast majority of us from the middle class, including people like me, are trained to look at the risk. Where your parents, your elders have always told you when you are young, be careful with a glass of water, I think you're going to drop it, right? And this gets ingrained into our heads. So when you, when you want to start a business, a good training ground is to surround yourself with people who are saying, hey, look, you know, maybe things can be different. Maybe things will be better from here on. Let's look at the opportunity. Let's look at a broader canvas rather than just talking about how things could go wrong. The third thing that you should be doing is to look for a mentor. Look for someone who has come from a background very similar to yourself and who has already walked the path. And this is a long-term partnership with the mentor. Don't think of him as a source of one-off one advice. Engage with him, help him understand where you come from, talk to him about how you want to work with him over the next five to 10 years. Be careful about your selection of the vendor. Make sure that you're working with somebody who you can empathize with and someone who can empathize with you. And be sure that he is someone who has walked the path that you now want to walk on. Finding a mentor, can be very difficult, but once you've found him, getting the right coach can go a long, long way in making sure that you are able to embrace risk and uncertainty better. So three things, if you're having a challenge in overcoming your fear of meeting uncertainty, first, try and get out of your comfort zone in a non-business environment. Second, 
Surround yourself with people who are trained to think opportunity rather than risk. And third, find the right mentor for yourself. That's it for today. Thanks.